Good morning. My name is Jason Ding. Uh, I've been uh, leading the Salesforce CIM performance engineering organization for the last three and a half years. In the meantime, I'm also leading a enterprise scale cross-functional task force to make sure our Salesforce SaaS stack can meet customer size in any kind of range. So today I'm going to talk about how to conduct a scalability study in a multi-tenant environment. So this is a safe harbor statement. Please don't make uh, purchasing decisions based on my talk, especially after Microsoft. So if you are a SaaS company, you provide a, a multi-tenant solution in the cloud. So you will have customers in all kinds of sizes. So normally you will have a dedicated performance engineering team or some DevOps team to do load testing, to do capacity planning, to make sure your customers, multi-tenant customers, have satisfactory performance experience. But once in a while, you would have actually a large customer. A customer size would be several magnitude higher or larger than your normal customer base. So what should you do? Should you just use your normal performance workloads result to do extrapolation, extrapolation or do some guesstimate and let that customer go alive? And then you closely monitor your system metrics. You monitor the customer experience by monitoring their response time and then take proper actions while customer is on the, on the production step by step. Or you do proactively set up some task force to do some high fidelity simulation to simulate the customer real uh, customer situation and flash out uh, the scalability challenges such that you create a harmony environment. A customer in any size, they can actually uh, enjoy the same level of performance. So when you do that, you closely work with your largest customers to solicit the customer feedback, to understand that their data model, their traffic pattern, um, their average working hour traffic and the peak hour traffic. And then you put these into the production type of environment, and you run your concurrency test, you simulate the system uh, traffic and the background traffic. Uh, you actually collect all the performance metrics and they expose the performance bottlenecks along the way. And uh, this process needs to be iterative because sometimes, you know, in one iteration, you find some performance bottleneck, you, you fix your code, and the next iteration, you find out, oops, your actually infrastructure is going to have some scalability challenge. So through this uh, iteration, um, you could... Uh, expose lots of uh, limitations so you never saw it before you know, in your normal average uh, customer size. And uh, this process needs to be open, and you need to actually provide the feedback, your test the results with, uh, to your customers, and collect the feedback. You know, lots of times, you know, we actually work in the performance engineering uh, community. We are kind of arrogant, right? I would say, hey, I have a PhD degree in computer science. I worked in performance engineering for the last 20 years. You know, don't educate me about the MDOS law, about the apples to apple comparison. These are data. Go figure out yourself. You know, I'm confident. You know, my test results will meet. You know, my actions. You know, the results will show we can satisfy your performance need. So sometimes actually, customer will be. Surprising you, even though you have a PhD degree. Every day you find out that you actually learn from your customers. For example, lots of times we present our data saying 90 percentile or 95th percentile response time. Customer will be saying, hey, in my industry, the SLA is 99th percentile. So you need to actually redo the performance metrics, collect those data. And sometimes you, they say, three years from now, we have additional traffic. What's, what's your take? You know, do you, are you prepared in your multi-tenant environment? So by doing this iteratively, by collaborating with your customers, you can pretty much flesh out the scalability bugs. And the, your goal is actually to prevent the rate account from happening, right? We all know when you work on the performance, when the customer in the production has a rate account, what does it mean, right? So, um, Doing all this performance testing, you actually need to work with 
the DevOps with your operation with your data center to scale your hardware horizontally, vertically. You, sometimes you need to go all the way to actually to help the system integrate the partner companies to actually optimize their application because sometimes the end user experience is the end to end. Even though it's not your fault, they still blame you because you are the provider. So the key takeaway is you know, when you have a larger customer comes into a multi-tenant picture, you need to run a high fidelity simulation. The key elements of a high fidelity simulation is are you know, create a representative data set, write a representative simulation scripts, and uh, run the simulation based on the production kind of environment, such that uh, you know, the radar counter situation won't happen. And the people will re really respect you, saying, oh, you really actually understand the performance engineering. Thank you. <laughs>